Greetings, I'm Rob Chappers. And I'm the captain. And you're listening to the dulcet tones of the Zoom G3XN. Yeah, which is really cool. Um, so G3X and G3XN are two new products from Zoom, uh, just about to ship at the end of 2016. Uh, G3XN, X is the one with the expression, expression. pedal. Expression. Or if that you just feel you, you can live without an expression pedal in your life, uh, the G3N uh, is essentially the same, but just be this big. And it's Lee, the, I remember the days of multi-effects on the floor without these expression pedals and how sad it was. It was sad. And now it's days, a lot happier it? when you can express yeah. yourself. So this is basically the baby brother of uh, Zoom's very popular G5XN, which came out earlier this year. Lee, <laughs> they've smashed it. They really have. Um, this is a heavy metal unit of joy. And I've been playing with some of the sounds. It sounds great. Yeah. We've got it hooked up stereo through this little Fender bass breaker and a Boss Katana, and it's yeah. just doing some great things. We're going to we're going to do a little bit of the demo in. Going to probably do some of the playing in stereo, and then I'll <laughs> unhook the bass breaker and just leave the Katana. And the reason I wanted the Katana is, you know, I totally get that. You know, if you've got your fifteen hundred pound Vox AC thirty, you know, this probably isn't the product for you. But if you've got a little, you know. 20, 30 watt, 50 watt solid state or yeah. you know, amplifier and you're thinking, <clears throat> I need some effects, you know, need some more stuff in my life. We haven't, I mean, I think we should just get the price of this sort of out the way. Oh, I was just gonna say, should we, should we express the price? It's 160 quid. What? 169 pounds. Well, you know, you know me, as long as I'm somewhere the in the price. ballpark. <laughs> um, which is like, really? What can you buy for 169 pounds? Well, that means nothing unless you hear it and go, oh yeah, okay, now it's really yeah. good. I took Andertons out for their staff party the other night and we spent 2,000 pound behind the bar. I could have literally bought Was that just you? 10 of these and just been, still had change <laughs> and no hangover. Um, so yeah, fabulous value. It's a little bit cheaper if you buy, it's about 20 quid less if you don't want the expression pedal on it. I think most of you should buy the one with the expression pedal, but that's up to you. Ooh. Well, don't get excited, come on now, hold it back. So, in a nutshell, it has about 70 effects built into it, but via the USB um, input on the back here, you can download uh, updates from Zoom and that kind of list of effects is growing. There's a mix of amp models, cabinet models, and uh, tons and tons of effects. And what Zoom have done is what a lot of companies are beginning to do more and more of, where they sort of look at all the components of an amplifier, work out how it, the nuts and bolts operate, mm. understand the brain, and then put it into a new box. Yeah. I like that evolution. You know, I mean, early multi effects was was relatively straightforward digital algorithms that were sort of that I'm going to create an amp sound and I've got control over the sort of the gain and the EQ and I'm just sort of going to get a sound that's like a high gain amp sound and I'm going to call it the tread plate model and yeah. that was kind of their mesa boogie kind of <clears> model <throat> and I think everyone accepted it didn't sound anything like yeah. the real thing. Also a first. Yeah. A first. It's the first product I've ever seen with the word gent in the uh, in the tone library. Well, yes, yeah, so, I mean, th this is this is far more. So it's, we're not talking profiling as such, but we are talking component level modeling. So substantially more attention to detail as to just how different kinds of pickups will react with different kinds of settings within amplifiers and all that kind of stuff, which Let's is why it sounds a lot better. Give them some tones. So the first part of this demo, Rob and I are going to use what is called the memory mode. And memory mode is essentially where you can take a selection of those 70 effects, I think it's seven at the same time, um, and create uh, patches. Uh, and there's 150 memory locations for you to create all those patches if you want. And straight out the box there are 75 um, presets, about 20 of which have been done by famous guitar players mm. as well. So there's some good presets in here, so if you're not a tweaker, and you just want to use presets, then yeah, there's tons in here to play with. So a tweaker, someone that does drugs or something? I'm not sure now. That's a pusher. Pusher. Okay. Yeah. A tweaker is. <laughs> So glad you put that one on.
octave fuzz, it's an octave uh, duh. of you thinking that I wonder how much of that sounds coming from the amplifier um, I'll show you uh, this is how but much this, is coming this is from what the we had before mental isn't yeah, it from, and, from that and I tell you, they have so thought of everything here not only have you got uh, you've got two modes of tuner so the tuner built in but you can have a mode of tuner where it still lets you hear through the amplifier and I believe over here if I come out of this actually there is a mode of tuner that doesn't oh, let you hear what comes great. out of the amplifier. So it's just like nice little detail. And you can see, hopefully on close-up clam, that it's a hugely big tuner. It uses all three windows, windows. here to, to make sure that it's very, very easy to see what you're tuning to. Um, happy? Always happy, bro. Can I, uh, I guess most people at home probably won't have a stereo rig. So what I'm gonna do now is just take out the more expensive of the two amplifiers. So now you're just hearing it lip the Boss Katana. More gent. That's very... <laughs> Do you want to be Jimmy, Carlos, or The Edge? I think you should be Jimmy. No, no, you be Jimmy. Come on, bro. No, you're, you're the player. You know what I love about that sound the most? What? I can't really play any Zeppelin, but if you listen to the room, it's it's great. Yeah. It sounds like a room. Do it, do it, eruption. Really? Yeah, I, I can't play it. Ladies and gentlemen, you just saw Lee get excited enough I know, to a pick patch up a Stratocaster and play some guitar. There's a patch called the blues, and that's the only genre of music I understand. And even that, well, you I went don't past know. a Stevie Ray Vaughan patch as well. You can't, I can't be Stevie Ray. Request that we stereo this just to listen to the stereo. Sure, we can go back to stereo. 
I just want to hear what that's like in stereo, is what I was basically saying. I just realised, of course, from the spelling of Jimmy, that the last Jimmy we had, J I W M Y, yeah, obviously would have been Jimmy a different Page, Jimmy. Yeah, it would have been different. So Jimmy. there's me trying to play Hendrix licks over Jimmy, but I've got it wrong. This is the Jimmy, and there's, well, there's no Wawa. <laughs> Might be a bit more appropriate. Get your metal or bro face. Yeah. See if I can remember some of that Metallica riff. I uh, haven't seen it, by the way. Oh, hold that down, yeah. And then choose that tuner. Oh, I love these PRSs. Best PRS I think they've done. That's it. Yeah. That was. Man, what am I day. doing playing? Play, play birds, play birds. Uh, birds. I don't know what it is, but do it. Mr. Born Zach Wilde is it kind of sounding dirty hairy? Do it, do it, do it. Uh. Rob wants to make a patch, yeah, make me a sound, Lee. So, uh, now I've again, I've only had my hands on this pedal for like two minutes, so hopefully, I will get it right. <laughs> um, but the first thing when I go into edit mode is it kind of cleverly shows this idea of a guitar cable running all the way through with nothing plugged in at the moment, hence the fact that we just get this. I can ultimately, I can choose to, to, to add an effect into any of these windows here. The first effect in kind of doesn't really matter where it's going to be because I can move them anyway. Uh, but the idea being once I've got several effects running, you'll kind of see where the gaps in the chain are to add more effects. 
So anyway, I'm just going to add a guitar amp into this middle one here. Um, give me a, uh, give me an 800. Yeah, the, the default one that comes up first is the 800. <laughs> And hopefully you guys can see on close-up cam, I appreciate this is a bit small, but I've got eight parameters that I can... Um, it spreads itself over two windows, doesn't it? Yeah, so... Like input, a bird. Bass, middle, treble, presence, gain, volume, and then every amplifier also has a solo switch um, built. Um, By the way, if Lee sounds a bit different now, it's because he didn't plug his lapel in, in, but so he's just plugged it in so you're fine. The so And the, the solo button on, on each amp setting actually is an adjustable amount of boost as well. Yeah, so let's just go... So I don't know that I really necessarily even want to, I might make it a bit less bright, but uh, it is just, you can change that around. There are a bunch of different amps in here as well. So, you know, as I go through them, you can see you've got uh, Super Lead, Twins, Deluxe, loads. I'm gonna stick with the Marshall. Uh, and over here then, I'm going to put you a boost pedal of some form or other. So over on this window now, because it's in front of the amplifier, I will choose a... Oh, just gone past pedal, so let's get... Oh, I want a drive pedal. Just uh, gone past that as well. There's an oversight here, up. isn't there? Uh, there you go. So I can actually have two amps in front of amps, but... Yeah. That's a lot of gain. It's a lot of gain. I'm going to probably have to put a noise gate in as well, but let's just at least get a sound that you like with noise. And the then Rob I'll Chapman put... boost look good. <laughs> that's, that's probably an exotic RC boost, but we can go with Rob Chapman boost. Is it... Do you like that, or do you want a different kind? I quite like it. Okay. It needs a reverb, it though. It needs reverb. It needs a noise gate as well. So, um, I believe that what I now need to do... So here's my signal chain, if you like. RC boost into a... a oh, we're actually on the plexi head as well. Is it just me that's really enjoying these little tiny graphics? Yeah. Are you happy with the plexi head? I, I thought we were on the 800, but I've obviously dialed it in with the plexi. It sounds good. It sounds Fine. good. Don't worry. So what we're going to do now is put a noise gate in. So the first thing that I probably do need to do is move this RC boost a little bit because to create a gap between the amp and the RC boost pedal. Well, yeah, it sounds... Okay, so there's my basic sort of setting. Now what I want to do is I'm going to put some reverb on for Rob as well. So um, we choose another location and then I hit this button here and I go through until I find my reverbs. And <laughs> So really, really simple. That, that's a really simple patch. We've only got three effects on there, basically, a boost pedal into an amp with a reverb pedal. So actually, I mean, that's pretty typical of what you'd use, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, if I wanted to, you know, we could add in um, noise reduction. If it all got a bit noisy, we could add in some but more special not, effects. That's what it's like. Um, do you want to try something a bit more sort of funky? If you want. I mean, not that um, I'm much of a funk player. What could I put in after the reverb, I wonder then? Uh, let's see what other effects we've got here. Uh, loopers. Uh, delay. Do you want a delay? Yeah, put a delay in. Okay, I should probably have the delay. In fact, what I'll do is I'm going to put the delay on, and then if I'm clever, I'm going to show you how we might move the delay back in front of the reverb because it's kind of probably should be there. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
So I, I mentioned there that one of the things that I would do if this was on my pedal board uh, would be to move the delay pedal in front of the reverb. And I believe I can do that in this chain section here. So what I do is I move my little hand to the reverb, I pick it up and I put it there. And if I remember, if I, if I'm, yeah, now we've got. Obviously, I can assign the uh, expression pedal to do something if I want to. I can you save can assign this that now. to your shopping cart, and you can assign it to your life, and you can improve your tones and I home can, bedroom playing. I could call it, you know, Rob's mega guitar tone. Um, shall I put a noise gate in? Just nah, it's, yeah, nah. It's just, it's just. I want the noise. I no. want the original sound. It's just. Of, it's of, just uh, I want to go slightly deaf in one ear. No, I'm putting it in. It's just. It's just. I, I've got that kind of. Oh, hello, That's better. Hello, hello, hello. Dyna is it under dynamics or SNR? Did I see one called? Just keep doing that forever. Which one's the noise compressor going to be? Here we go. What's that? ZNR? Zoom noise reduction. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm into it now. I've kind of, it takes a little while just to get you. See, you don't even know what I'm doing, do you? Well, I'm doing because I'm playing as if I was when I was a kid in the uh, I'm just fiddling here, 80s. See. So one, once you kind of get your chain together, it's re it's relatively intuitive to be able to sort of scroll left and right through your different what pedals. What are you giving me now then? No, I was just I was just tweaking the amp and taking a bit of the mix of the reverb down because I thought it was a bit too over the top, and I was just you know just getting you a sound. So. <laughs> been 16 maybe at the time working in Anderton's when we had a, we had a really small shop probably <coughs> I don't know about five or six times the size of this little video yeah. room and Zoom launched the 9002 effects unit which you put on your strap do you remember yep, that yep, yep, yep. and we used to employ a guy we had a, well we, we had a, one of our guitar sales guys would come in on a Saturday morning and for the whole day he would stand in the store with the, the Zoom 9002 <laughs> on the strap playing uh, Jump by Van Halen. Funny you should say that because the patch is in yeah. the play. I can't play any Van Halen, by the way, but... And my job for the whole day was to stand by the counter going, Do you, you want 9000? Yeah, no problem like that. £350. Another, and, and, and it was £350. Now, bear in mind, this was 25 
years ago, maybe, how old am I now? No, no, More than that, 30 than odd that. years yeah. ago. 350 pounds, it's like it's probably like seven, 800 pounds in today's yeah, yeah, money. Yeah. And it sounded shit as well, to be honest. But, <laughs> but, at the, but at the time it sounded like insane. It was like innovation, you'd man. never seen anything. Yeah. And it had a little, it had a little bit on it that you attached with a wire that you stuck to the guitar so that you could do your patches up yeah, and down yeah. or something from it. My introduction man. to Zoom, was when I got really heavily into Dweezil Zappa right. and the album Shampoo Horn. Can we have some love for Dweezil Zappa in the comment section below, please? And he was using Zoom for a lot of the recordings on yeah. Shampoo Horn and things like um, Obvious Influence by the Devil, that yeah. kind of stuff. And I was like, this is amazing. But it's an affordable thing and I can it buy was. it. It was, it was pioneering. No one had ever done anything like that before. It was super affordable relative to, I think the only other thing on the market was like the Roland G GP16. RP1 came it? out a bit later, didn't it? Yeah, RP1 was later. Yeah. And in all fairness, I mean, certainly, although Zoom probably were one of the early pioneers of this, way before Line 6 or anything were on the scene, um, were one of the pioneers of this kind of technology, certainly I, I would say that in more recent years, it would be fair to say, you know, Boss and Digitech and Line 6 have, have probably. Well, they dominated a bit, born. didn't they? Yeah, domination, Dami, that's the right Sean, word. Da, 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 da. So, so I think Zoom have realised that the way back into this market is just to smash it, isn't it? It's they just to go... And you know what, Lee? <laughs> well, not much else left to tell you on this, is there? Other than uh, put a link in the description section below so it's that you can go It's and... £169 of life-affirming rock, metal, blues, funk, soul, jazz yeah. tones at your fingertips, and I urge you to try one. Yeah, it's a great little unit. I mean... It's almost one of those things that would have been a much shorter video to tell you what it didn't have in it, wouldn't it? Yeah. We should have done that. Here's a Zoom G3XN. This is what it doesn't do. Uh, yeah. Nothing. See you the later. end. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Well, I hope you like the sounds. As I said, we didn't run through every wait, wait, single just hold, preset. Hold it. Feel, feel the weight. Feel the weight. It's not about the girth. It's about the weight. Uh, that is a chunky unit. That is, is a chunky unit. Uh, you can have headphones into it, auxiliary input to put some backing tracks on it. It had loads of other kind of um, system setting stuff if you want to sort of get in and do some real deep editing and stuff. But it's cool. There you I go. like it. Yeah, man. Great things. See you later, guys. Kapow. <laughs> Kapow. <laughs> what? Hold it back. <laughs> what All am I day. doing? Tell me about Rory. So he uh, edits videos. Rory's awesome. <laughs> <laughs>